Welcome back to the PowerPoint screencast. If you haven't watched the other PowerPoint screencast numbered one through three, you might want to go back and do that before you watch this one. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is how you can insert a graphic or a picture and some of the things that you can do to format that as well. So I'm going to come over here to slide number three and I can click to add a title. So I can say my title again. If you don't remember how to do this, you want to go back and watch one of the previous screencasts. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to this content block and what I want to do is mouse over until it says that I can insert clip art. If you have picture a picture from a file, you can do that, but inserting clip art is going to be the easiest way for you to get something. The purpose of clip art is for us to provide our audience with an image that's going to help them connect with the information that we're presenting. So I'm just going to type in library since I'm the media specialist or the librarian. Um, I'm going to type that in because that's a topic that might be part of a presentation I could give. What I do want you to notice is I'm getting a dialog box and it says, do you want to include thousands of additional clip art from Microsoft Office Online? Well, yeah, I do. So we're going to click yes. Okay. What you can also do is you can determine where you search. So if we come over here to this clip art dialog box where it says all collections, I can choose. So I can only see images that are offline or web collections. We just want to see what's everywhere. The other thing you can do is you can select which type of results you want to get. So you can get clip art, you can have photographs, you could get movies, you could get sound files. Well, for this project, I really don't need sound files and I really don't need movie fi files. So all I really want to see are clip art or photographs that are related to my search term, which was library. So if we collapse that and then we click go, it's going to search for me again. And this is going to allow for a faster search of resources for you. And so then what I can do is scroll down. If you notice that the image has this little globe, it means it's online. So it means that Microsoft PowerPoint is going to have to download that image. So I'm just going to click one. It's a cute little guy. To select that image, you just click it and notice it's inserted into the box. So then what I want to do once I've selected that object is notice now when I go up to my formatting tab, it's telling me it's going to format with picture tools. So it's going to allow me to format my picture. First thing I want you to notice is in the adjust group, I can adjust the brightness and you'll get to preview this. So if I mouse over, I can make it darker or lighter, or I can leave it normal. You can adjust the contrast. You can recolor it. So if you wanted this to only be red, or if you really like black and white, you've got lots of choices for how that image will look. We can change the picture if you want to, so you can insert a different picture or you can go back and reset it. So if you've made changes, you can have it go back to the original um, layout and that also resides it. So I'm just going to drag an edge and bring this down. Or what I can always do is I can go up to the top left hand corner and I can undo. So I'm just going to undo resizing that object. Next in the picture styles group, again, I can expand that menu. So if you have used a previous version of PowerPoint and you really liked having the menu pop up, you can have that happen. Or we can use the group and we can use the commands, which I happen to like. So one of the things that we can do, I'm going to expand this so I can see them, is we can change the shape. So by mousing over, I can make the picture a bevel rectangle. Or I can make it a soft edge oval. So depending on how you're presenting this or what you'd like it to look like, you can add all these different frames or edges to your picture. So I'll give it the soft edge rectangle. You can change the shape of your picture. So you can apply a different shape to it if you would like. So if I want it to be a circle, because I love that little guy reading, I can add lots of different shapes to the um, picture. You can do a starburst. So you guys can play around with that. And again, it just depends on what it is you're trying to present. But I like that heart, so I want the heart back. I can add a picture border. So I can say there's no outline or no border, or I can add a border just like I did before when I did the formatting the text box. So I can add a thick border if I wanted to. This one doesn't show up quite so much because I added that beveled edge. So if we come back, we can actually start to see a border there. Um, and then the last thing you can do is picture effects. So I can have the edge of that picture glow with purple or orange. You can do, oops, I'm going to go back up to the picture effect command. I can do a 3D rotation so I can have that picture be rotated. So you guys will have fun just looking through these and playing. I just want you to keep in mind, 
you don't want to overdo it because the whole idea here is that we want to make sure that we're helping our audience remember our presentation. So you want to choose things that are going to help your presentation be more meaningful and help your audience to remember what it is that you are trying to convey to them.